she a duck? Mm -hmm. You need a shower. <laughs> Got hair though. Hey guys, it's Jay and I am here with the College Life book tag. I thought it was super appropriate for me because, as you all know, I've been uploading pre-filmed videos, which this is also a pre-filmed video because I'm at college. Well, university, but same thing. So, it just seemed like it needed to be done. I wasn't actually tagged by anybody. I saw it over at Jen's channel. I'll leave her link down below. And it was originally created by only Justin. But I can't link her because she doesn't have any videos up anymore, so, I mean, I could link her, but... You can't watch her videos. So there's a couple of questions that I'm supposed to answer. I'm just gonna read them off my phone because it's easier and I, uh, I suck at remembering things. So, deal with it. So without further ado, let us get started. The first question is a dorm room and it is a book or series that could use a big improvement. I'm going with 37 by Maria Bowman. I read this like two years ago and I absolutely hated it. It was the stupidest book in the entire world. It was so boring and ridiculous, but the back sounds like it could actually be cool, but it was not. It was terrible. The second question is, roommate, a book series you wanted to like but found yourself getting annoyed at? I'm gonna go with The Summer I Turned Pretty Trilogy by Jenny Han. I did really enjoy the books, but by the third one I was just like, oh my god, Belly, you are so annoying. So really it's Belly's fault, because I liked Conrad, and I liked Jeremiah, but like, Belly. Get it together, Belly. Get it together. Question number three is 8 a.m. class, a book that you wanted to be done with as soon as possible, and I'm going with Ella's Love by Jasmine Lee. I recently read this book, and it was just so cringeworthy. It hurt. It's about this guy named Marcus and this girl named Ella, and basically they've met each other three times in the past, and then on the third meeting they're like, oh, let's go on a date. And then the insta-love. The insta-love hurts my soul. I literally had to put the book down like 10 times just to roll my eyes at my mom while I was reading it, so... Remember this book? Do you remember this book? It's the insta-love book. That's the one you just read? Mm-hmm. Is it good? Yeah. The next question is All Nighter, a book that kept you up all night, and I am going with Dead to You by Lisa McMahon. It was so good. I have a review of it, which I can leave down below if you all want to check that out. Totally check it out. Shameless promotion. But it was really good. I really enjoyed it. I only gave it a 4.5 stars on Goodreads because the ending, the cliffhanger, I could not. But if you haven't read this book, definitely pick it up because it is super enjoyable. The next question is, debt a book you really want but can't get right now? And I'm going with Half Wild by Sally Green. It's not really a new release at all. It's been out forever. I was looking at my bookshelf and I saw Half Bad and I was like, that was a really good book. And then I was like, I haven't read the second book. Oh my god, I don't have the second book. What am I going to do? I can't get any more books because I have a million of them. That would be the one I want. Real bad. Real bad. Next is a Study Group, a book you want to buddy read, and I'm going with Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare, because this has been on my shelf for a million years, and I still haven't read it because it scares me, because it is so big, so if I buddy read it with someone, then I have motivation and a need to actually read it, because I have to talk about it with this person. Somebody buddy read with me if you haven't read it already, which you probably have because everybody and their mother has read this book. It's fine, including my mother. My mother's read this series, and I haven't. Next is caffeine. Which is my life. I'm just saying, I'm obsessed with it. Iced coffee gets me through college every day. And that question is a book that kept you on the edge of your seat. And I am going with Merciless by Danielle Vega. I've recently read this book. Oh my god, I stayed up till like 4.30 in the morning just so I could read it. Apparently I really like thrillers. Thrillers are the only ones that can keep me up, apparently, because I just have to know what happened. It was so good. I also have a review for this down below if you're interested. Go check that out. More shameless promotion. What, what? And the last question is New Best Friend, and it is a new to you book that you will always love. And it's not really new to me, but I know I'm always gonna love it, and it is The Death by Cody Keplinger, and that is all I'm gonna say because obsession. Okay. Alright, guys, so that was the College Life book tag. I will leave who I'm linking down below. Not 100% sure who's done this or not, so tag you right there or it as well. Do the tag. I tag you. Cool. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! I turned pretty trilogy, it's fine. <laughs>